If you're a beginner classical soprano who would love to get into opera, art song, oratorio, I want to show you some exercises today that will be great for you. Hi and welcome to today's video. If you don't know me yet, my name is Freya Casey, professional vocal coach and singer from Germany. Yes, I definitely have a singing past as a professional opera singer. And uh, let me share a few exercises that actually some of them my teacher did with me when I started out uh, studying at college and I found them to be very helpful. I think what is really important is now, depending on your voice type, you will have, you will develop different strengths and timbres. But I think there's a lot of common ground. Now, of course, it goes without saying, you want to make sure you have lifted posture, lift yourself from the sternum, make sure your shoulders stay nice and relaxed, and then expand your ribs as you take a deep breath. That is the prerequisite for everything we're going to be doing here. The next thing that is really important is to try to relax your jaw, not to tense it, and try to kind of balance out the jaw movement to where you don't open it extremely wide when you sing high and then have a narrow opening when you sing low. So try to balance it out a bit. First exercise, it's why me, why me? Always in head voice, but we're going to try to go low. So, why me, why me? Why me, why me? Why me, why me? Why me, why me? And if it gets too low, you probably have to go into chest voice, but let's not quite go there. Let's really stay in head voice and try to go low, still have some resonance. The important thing about this exercise is to have a nice legato movement, both when it comes to changing pitch and to changing vowels. So instead of why me, why me, you want to really draw it out very legato, the why me? See, it's almost like you're chewing gum in a slow motion kind of uh, way. And then, wah, nice open, wah, wah, that you can really feel the resonance in your mask. Wah, that then opens up toward a nice open resonant, high resonant, ah. The way you achieve this is by trying to not tense your jaw, but have that nice vertical space by lifting your soft palate and opening that pharyngeal space. Think of an onset of a yawn. Not a yawn, because when you yawn, you actually lower the larynx, which is not anything we're trying to do. Um, the larynx naturally lowers when you sing higher and higher, but that is the key. It naturally lowers and it actually stays very dynamic. It never gets static and we don't want to make it static by pushing it down before we need to actually lower it. So really focusing on that every single aspect, every single transition. Ooh, nice forward, ooh, there's an actual ooh in there. Ooh, see how the ooh is more forward, it is more closed, but you want it to still resonate high, meaning nice open space back in your pharyngeal area. Think of that onset of the yawn. It's not which is then the yawn. So, but it's more, it's bright, bright overtones. And the lower E, you don't want to make it just like this, you don't want to spread sideways. You want to keep a nice relaxed cheeks here and you want to make it, you want to shape it on the inside by, you know, nestling your, the sides of your tongue between your molars, you know, here, but not 
in the back. You want to keep it open. That's really important. And further in the front, you want to keep your tongue kind of relaxed, but not laying, not blocking space in your mouth. So um, unfortunately, I cannot show you E properly because when I sing E, it's the nature of E to be kind of close. So you can't really see everything that I'm doing. So E. Tip of tongue is relaxed. The pharyngeal area, that is where your soft palate is and behind, that stays open. Otherwise, you'll get a nasal sound and there will not be that high resonance in, you know, really your mask. That's what you're looking for, brightness. Why me? Why me? And on the ah, you don't want to cover your teeth, otherwise you will just really, it's almost like you're blocking all the nice sound waves that want to come out. So now it's a lot of throat sound, but it's not open sounding. Okay, next exercise is very similar, but it has more of the forward ooh and the e. You don't want to make it ooh or e. You want to have it a nice round, bright sound. like would you would you would you but it's like would you so the reason why this exercise is great it it really helps you focus on volume a bit full sound full open sound while of course using more closed vowels but you can translate that into your ah that placement you don't want to cover It's that same placement as the ah. Of course, it is more closed up here. Here's the trick in order to get a nice resonant oo and a nice resonant e. The oo don't cover again, so it's not. Oh, it's kind of a weird vibration here. So again, that very legato transition between the vowels. Ooh. So there's a oo and there's a oo. So a closed oo and an open oo. Can you hear how it changes on the oo, on the closed oo? It really just makes a less brilliant, bright sound. And then when it opens up to the woo, woo, just your lips opening a bit brightens up the sound so much. So believe me, when you're in a big room or singing with an orchestra, the brightness, that's what's going to carry over without you having to push a lot on this level right here. It's the resonance. And on the E, exactly the same. We, you don't want to go You don't want to make it spreading. Basically, same placement. It sits in the same place. You just have that, again, like I said, that slight lift of the tongue back here between your molars. E. 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 So that brings us to our next exercise. It's the E exercise. E. here is that when you sing high don't push harder on the contrary get light just look for not a lot of breath going out think of that inhalare la voce it's that 
It's almost like you're sucking in the air. Of course, you're not literally sucking in air. You're always singing outward, but it's you're holding, you're holding with your ribs. You have such nice, perfect vocal cord closure and the perfect kind of uh, balance between how tightly your vocal cords are closed and how much air you're pushing through that it's the perfect mix for getting that frequency. And then when you add the shaping here and the placement, you, there's no need to push. Those pitches are automatically always above everything else that happens in the room because they're high. And the higher frequencies, our human ear just picks them up so much easier. <laughs> Notice that when I go higher, since E is a closed vowel, the higher I sing, the more space I need. That goes for all closed vowels. Yeah, so E or ooh. Always need more space when you go up. So you can practice it so nicely on the E. You can do it on the O, but the E is really nice, I think, for a soprano to really try to look for that very bright resonance without being too spread and narrow. Still having that depth, the horizontal space, but without darkening. And I don't like mixing in ooze because it's just not pure language. I don't like that, that is just weird and nobody understands what you're singing. Do you love me? 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 Darkening all the time really makes you not be able to distinguish one vowel from the others. Like e o e e o u, just covered and darkened. A e e o u. I like that much better. So try these exercises out and let me know in the comments how it goes. Can you feel the resonance and the brightness or are you struggling? If you would like to carry on the conversation and get great interaction, join my free Facebook group, Master Your Voice. And you can also find lots of free resources on my website, masteryourvoice.tv. Thank you for watching today. Have a most wonderful day. Subscribe if you have not for more singing tip videos. And until next time, always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye. I must be strong to carry on Cause I know I don't belong here in heaven